In this question, we're going to find the general solution to a trigonometric equation. And the trigonometric equation we have is sine x equals 1. So we're looking for an angle that you could use for x in which the equation sine x would be equal to 1. So there's only one position in the unit circle um, in which sine x is going to be 1, and that's going to be an angle where x is pi over 2. So this angle here would be pi over 2, which is also known as 9 degrees. Um, if we were going to go 3 pi over 2, the answer would be um, negative 1. But we've got positive 1 here. So, um, a value, so the answer for x could be pi on 2. But it turns out that is not the full story. If you went another full revolution around the unit circle, you'd get back to that same position in the unit circle. So a full revolution in the unit circle is 2 pi radians. So you could say the answer could be pi over 2 um, plus 2 pi radians. But then you could just go another pi over 2 and then just get the, the same answer again. You'd end up in the same position the, at the unit circle. So we um, write a general solution like this. We, we have a um, solution in the first revolution plus 2 pi times n and we need to say n is going to be any integer because if it was an integer we wouldn't end up in the same place of the unit circle um, I'll have to write n down here so you have to say comma n is an element of integers so the way we write integers is just z and that's how you find the general solution to a trig equation